Greetings fellow YouTubers, this is Hunt Ionix. I'm going to do a video review on the Dragon Stars Vegeta. So with the upcoming Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie, it's nice to see that even after all this time, Dragon Ball Super still uses very, very stupid long titles for basically anything. I figured I'd take the time to review Dragon Stars Vegeta for my collection. Uh, so getting them in, get a closer look. Oh, we actually do this. Yeah, I, uh, I've done how many reviews and I've only now just realized I should zoom the camera in <laughs> to get a closer look. So uh, bring it like this, huh? Does this make y'all comfortable? Just, if I just bring them this close to the camera, does it make y'all comfortable? Okay. I mean, it's well picked. The Dragon Stars are a basic line. Like you're supposed to, like I see a lot of people use them for custom fighter for their figure arts. Me personally, I just buy whatever for Dragon Ball. I'm not too concerned with a scale of any type. All I know is I need a Vegeta that is smaller than my Goku and this Vegeta does not cut that. So either I need a Dragon Stars Goku or I need a figure arts Vegeta. That's, that's either one. Yeah. He is also weirdly like he's pinless right here on the top of his bicep, but the rest of him has pinholes sort of weird so when it comes to accessories because he does have accessories you get I uh, get some uh, some hamehameha hands which are pretty pretty standard for most Saiyan characters you know they got open hands they pop on pretty easily you just really just go in there and you plop it off and then you just stick the peg. That is a really wonky shaped peg on that. <sighs> and then, you know, now he's got hand. So he can just kind of claw at you. So in terms of Vegeta's articulations, it's a little limited. And due to the way it's sculpted, like the figure, it leaves certain stuff like his bicep here getting scratched up really bad from swiggling the biceps. It's not so bad on this side, but on this side, it just tears that shoulder up. And then you can see his shoulders sit really low. You can get them higher if you lock his arms straight, but it's still not great. I feel like the ball joint for this needed to be way higher. And can I, I need to zoom in on that. I feel like the ball joint for his shoulder needed to be up a little higher. You know, at least some more access room down, more than access room on the top. As it is, it's just kind of straight in the middle. Which makes it sit really wonky and a little too far away. But yeah, as you can see, arm moves all the way out. It's got a bend at the elbow. It's double jointed, but you don't get much. It's got a ball hinge, so it swivels, moves all the way around in different directions. At the head just a big ball joint he's got a neck joint but he don't really do a whole lot at the torso it is a ball joint that is just a swivel let me pop yeah there you go see it is just a ball joint you just plug it in and he swivels around on it so you don't get much rocker at the legs though he does get a drop down but Due to the way his thighs are sculpted, it just makes him go at a T-joint styled angle. Not T-joint, V-style joint, you know, kind of thing. It's really, yeah, what's this? Oh, some transformer instructions. But yeah, it's really an odd design position. He does have a thigh swivel as well in there, but it don't really help too much. You kind of have to like swivel it around leg when it's up to get it some kind and at the knees he gets double joints and they actually work way better than they do on the arms and he does have ball hinge for the feet i think the ball joint on this guy does go at an angle so you can get some ankle pivot out of it without making the joint move so yeah he's got articulation that allows you to do what you need right but it's very much limited like compared to not even like compared to marvel legends like it is pretty limited it, 
expand them up, zoom it out so we can do some size comparisons. For a size comparison, here's SH Figure Arts Goku and what is this one called? Dragon Ball Evolve Vegeta, I believe. So, yeah. Uh, as you can see, Dragon Star's Vegeta is just a size. This is not really designed to scale with any of these. In fact, these two kind of scale a little better than him with Goku. And that's just because that's the way Dragon Stars works. So he's definitely not one of the figures in the Dragon Stars line to fudge in your figure arts. And here he is next to Drek and Stars Piccolo and Android 17, who are probably my two favorite figures in the Dragon Stars line. In fact, I think I might just review these two next to my Dragon Ball stuff. And here he is next to Bardock. Hey, wait a minute. That's not Bardock. So there you guys have it. That was my video review on Dragon Star's Vegeta. Ah, <laughs> like the figure is cool. Like it is pretty cool. And if you can get it, nice. But like, and it is a vast improvement from the old body from what I have heard from other people. <laughs> like just get, just get the Dragon Ball Evolved one. If you really want a Vegeta. Cause not only is it way more poseable, it's cheaper at like 10 to 15 bucks. <laughs> and this is like $20. So, I mean, if you want a normal Vegeta and you collect Dragon Stars, cool. Or if you just want a Vegeta action figure in general, like I wanted at the time, it works fine. But really, you've got some better options. You even have some options from way back in the day that look just slightly better than this guy. Probably functions slightly better than this guy. He's not even like the best of the best of Dragon Stars. Like, like I said before, Piccolo and Android 17 are probably my closest to like my favorites and the ones I recommend to anybody if they're interested in picking up Star's figures and want to like kind of fudge them in with your figure arts because those two actually work pretty dang well size. Maybe Android 17 you can argue is a little too tall but it's fine. So yeah, do I recommend the Vegeta? Yeah, but if for like a figure for your collection, not really. If you want him just overall, cool. Highly recommend him. If you want to try to fudge him in with your like SH figure arts or whatever, probably not the best. You might be able to fudge him with the model kits. I don't own any of the model kits. That is one that is one plus I can give him. He might be able to fudge in with the model kits. But I cannot guarantee that, so. Anyway, so yeah, that's been my review on Vegeta. Let me know how you think of the figure in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a like. And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe? Check out my social medias in the description down below. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, etc. And until next time, you guys, a peace.